All right, fellas. Um, tried uploading a video last night and didn't work too well. Um, just wanted to take a vi quick video of uh, my daily loading procedures in a downdraft gasification boiler. Um, most of you know I, I run a Crown Royal 74E this year. Um, that might change for next year because the stove is too big for my application. Anyways, um, it's been about 10 hours on the wood load. Loaded a little light last night. Um, out here this morning, it just started to cycle. I got a good bit, a good bed of coals left in here. Probably would make one more cycle here and get close to 12 hours. Um, so this is what I just came out to. Haven't touched anything. Just started a cycle. Um, what I like to do is place a split right over the nozzle in the middle that keeps all your coals from falling down the slot and getting sucked through. Um, so I'm going to show you that process. So I've just pushed all the coals away from the nozzle slot. As you can see, the nozzle slot's exposed. Some of you might be able to see the coals randomly getting sucked down through there. That's what I want to prevent. If you just rake your coals back over that slot, they're just going to get sucked through and then it's going to bridge and create about a two to three inch gap underneath your wood, which is not optimal. So I like to push everything to us to the side. It takes about, you know, 10 seconds. Just use your tool that's provided with your stove. I'm going to take this split here, just in about a 22 inch long split of ash, normal size. Um, and I just like to place it right over the nozzle. Now, as you noticed, I'm not forcing it down over the nozzle and plugging it. There's still a gap down there. Um, but this keeps the majority of the coals from getting sucked back through. So then I am just going to take my, my tool and I'm just going to push those coals. I'm not gonna stir them up a lot. I'm just gonna kind of rake them flat like that. That's all good coals right there. Same thing here. Just gonna rake them flat. Get up by the front underneath the door frame. See, so don't, don't gotta stir anything up. Don't really wanna disturb it too much. All we're doing is leveling it out so, so it's nice and hot so we can uh, load our wood. So now, now I'm ready to load my normal wood load and I'm gonna load it from left to right or right to left from side to side in a tight triangle over the nozzle. Okay fellas, we're all loaded up for the day. Um, as you can see, I put the few splits I had for this load right down on the coal bed above the nozzle there. Everything's stacked nice and tight. I am burning a lot of small rounds of uh, dried seasoned elm. Um, my general rule of thumb with burning rounds, and this is just me, is that anything four inches or greater needs to be split one time. If it's dried and it's under four inches, usually it's okay. If your moisture content is higher, you usually even want to split stuff smaller than four inches one time. The reason being is that the flat surface of the wood prevents better surface area for gasification and paralysis to occur. So this will last me 12 hours. It's going to be 30 today. Uh, this is for heat 7,000 square feet, but I do have very good insulation. So this is a typical wood load, typical loading process. I hope this helped. Thank you. Have a good day.